All right, everybody, welcome back to Norway Ranch. Uh, it's been a while since we've made a video, and what I've noticed lately is people not really understanding what a centrifugal clutch was or, you know, what they do. Um, or, you know, some people don't even know what they are in the beginning. They just think, you know, it's just a part. Why do I care about it? But um, centrifugal clutch is a type of clutch that is a... Uh, it's just, you know, these, these, which are called the shoes, throw out, grab onto this, and grab all by centrifugal force. And this certain clutch is a called a six-shoe clutch. It's called a six-shoe clutch because there are six shoes inside of the clutch. I just, I took it off the go-kart because one of the, uh, the snap rings... Not this one, I think I trashed the other one, but one of the snap rings just got torn all apart and it would just, uh, it wouldn't even, wouldn't even go. Figured that out. I thought I had torn the key inside of it because that made sense at the time. But pretty much all it is is a spring, the shoes, this little thing right here, a teeth kind of deal right here that line up with this, which is not, which slips onto the shaft right here. It's kind of stuck on there at the moment. But, yeah, that slips, on, slips onto the crankshaft. And here's the, uh, the bowl, or whatever you want to call it, the drum. And this is, I guess this is called a hub. I'm not 100% sure, but that just goes on top of that. I guess so the parts don't go everywhere. And you pick it up if you can. Yeah, see, here's the problem with the centrifugal clutches and why they're so annoying. Probably gonna put the camera down. The clutch will explode pretty much. Not really explode, but just, you have to get the spring in there, and it's just really hard to keep keep it inside of the shoes. But once you do, it's you know all good. Okay. Now that's done. I'll put the hub on and I'll put the bowl, drum, whatever, you, like I said, you guys want to call it back over it. And I'll slip it right back on. Show you guys, you know, what the deal is. It's not really getting, getting on there. Usually right there. Uh -huh. Right there you see those teeth. Usually they slip on. Uh -huh. Oh well, I don't need to do that. But, okay, see how the clutch works. When the engine's at a low RPM, the uh, shoes won't expand out and grab it, grab the uh, bowl thing. But once you, you know, press the gas on whatever it is or give it some throttle on mine, it's a go kart, got a gas pedal. And once you give it the gas and it, it gets to the uh, desired RPM, it will. When it, once it revs up, it will catch and then you go. It's a pretty simple design and it makes a lot of sense. This one's held on, or back up held on, I guess, by a, just by a bolt into the shaft. It's just really simple. I think it has another thing in it. Chain just goes right on it. I don't know. That's it for the go kart. And me and Alex rigged this up a little while ago after my moped exhaust fell off. Uh, it still has the little, you know, broken thing down there. Uh, Will did that right there. Or Alex Will did that right there. And. 
Yamaha. It's a Yamaha blaster pipe. Stock blaster pipe. Well, I think it's all gutted out. And this isn't from a Yamaha blaster, obviously. It's just a uh, chrome tip that came with my pulling tractor when I bought it. And that's how it's held on right there, actually. Just remove that. The only thing I hate working with this thing is everything is metric. But I'm not going to lie, that thing looks awesome. But until next time, you're watching Narwhal Ranch.